Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Now stop this video, go change into your jammies, and then come back and resume because we're gonna be doing some holiday baking in our jammies. <laughs> Yay! We like to make what's called, we call them pecan tassies, and they're basically little bitty miniature pecan pies, bite size. They are so good, they are an absolute favorite. I've been making them, what, 20 years? I'm 26, so. As long yeah. as you can remember? Yeah, <laughs> so uh, gonna show you how to do it. You ready? All right. Now what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a pack of Pillsbury dough pie crust, brown sugar, I have the light, I don't think it really matters what kind. Mm -hmm. One egg, we're doubling it up so I have two eggs, vanilla and chopped pecans. Now, what you're gonna need um, pan-wise to make this is I use this little mini muffin pan. And then I'm gonna show y'all a couple other things that we use that I just found to make things easier. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're doubling it, but I will leave just the regular recipe in the description box below, but it calls for three cups of brown sugar, which I'm gonna double that. Making a mess, I know. Oh, hush. <laughs> you can't be OCD at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am. That's a cup. This is a half. Huh? You said three cups of brown sugar. No. It's three cups of pecans. Okay, so that's all the brown sugar. And then it calls for two teaspoons of vanilla, which we're gonna do, I mean, one teaspoon of vanilla, we're gonna do two. Okay, and then go ahead and do those two eggs. Now I'm not having to separate. No, you don't have to separate. <laughs> Granny is not pleased with me. Now, get over here and just start mixing it together while I get all the cons ready. So you just go in like a circular motion, round and round. <laughs> okay, that's the best I can do with that sugar. It's get a fork. So what we're gonna do, we have some clumps of sugar. I'm just gonna kinda get a fork and break it up the best I can because it needs to be broke up. Do you see how I do that, Delana? No, I didn't. I just pulled it up on the side, use my fork to kinda break it up. Smart. And now it's all broke up. You put that in the sink. Well, oh, that's just a bubble. <laughs> I was like, well, maybe I didn't. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. And then we're gonna add our pecans. And we're doubling it. That was one cup.
this too. Is that what it's called? What? A whisker? Yes. Okay. Okay. This is what it should look like. Now we've got that all mixed up. So what we're gonna do. Get that out of here. So now that we have all of this mixed, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up our area because we're gonna have to use our countertop. We're gonna have to use our countertop to cut out our little pie shapes. So we'll be right back. That's fine. Thank okay. You very much. That's plenty. Okay, so what we've done is we have cleaned off our work surface because now we're about to coat our work surface in flour because we're gonna be rolling out our pie crust and we're going to be cutting out mini pie shapes. So what I did years ago, I found this set of cookie cutters. They come like three or four together and I use the next to the smallest one. And this is the perfect size, makes the perfect size crust for my mini muffin pan. Now, there's no certain way to cut them out or anything. This is just what I do. And then I found this orange juice. What's it called? I don't know, this thing that helps make orange juice, juicer. And I use the, the handle of it to make my little, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a whole process. And then to scoop out my pecan mixture, I use the small little baby scoop. So what we're gonna do, you know, we're gonna preheat our oven to 325. Oh okay. And then we're gonna spray our pan with some spray and get that good and coated and then we're gonna start cutting out our papyrus. I did forget to tell you, you will need a rolling pin as well. So I have my rolling pin. I found that the the wooden rolling pin is the best, but you know, whatever works for you. My goodness. What? You said spray. That is too much. Oh my, take a paper towel and blot oh some of that out. Goodness. Oh my Lord. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some flour and I'm just gonna kind of coat my work area. She did say spray it real good, so. Well, my Lord, Delane, I thought you had enough common sense to know. Well, that stuff's thicker than what I use. And I also like to coat my rolling pin with some flour too. That's gonna help it not stick. Okay. You know, you know, you teach them everything you know. What, are you sassing me? You teach them everything you know and they still don't know nothing. Go figure. Anyway, so here's my pie crust. So as you can see, I just kind of like spread my flour over my work surface where I'm gonna be. Then we're gonna roll out our pie crust. And it's better if they stay kind of cold, but you know. And then I'm gonna take my rolling pin and just kind of. So this one's kind of done for us. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your cookie cutter and cut as many as you can. Why do you want to do this? You're watching I'm learning. Learn. <laughs> okay. Then you're gonna ball up this, this, and then you're gonna roll it out and get some more. Cut some more. So we might have made more mixture than we have by gross. I can eat it. Okay, so I'll show you that in a minute. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I use this. Her juicer. So I just put that there and it makes the perfect little, oh, it's torn. It's okay. This stuff's gonna leak out. No, it's not. I put it back together. It just makes the perfect little cup. <laughs> Lopsided. That's okay. These really make good Christmas gifts too. Like if you have somebody that's really hard to buy for, make them up a batch of these. Oh, me and Bay should show them how to do Oreo bowls. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
be fair. You did a horrible job. First time. It don't matter what it looks like. It only matters what it tastes like. But we have a food processor now to make it easy. Okay. And then that's what it would look like. The perfect little cups. So let me get some more rolled out. So you're just gonna roll out your pie crust. And then cut some more. Hmm. I'm so good at this. We're gonna roll it out again. We'll be lucky to get two pans. <laughs> But if you find that your dough starts sticking, you can just take some of your powder, powder flour. <laughs> oh goodness. That's like the third blooper. It's okay. I need to get four more out of this. Can I do it? Mm, the Christmas miracle, isn't that what Hallmark says? I don't think I'll be able to do it. One. Nope. Two. That is not. A two. <laughs> two more? I might can. I might can do it. Prefer it not to be, but you know, desperate times, desperate measures. These are thick, these are thin, so then we're gonna cook faster. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we got one. <laughs> we're gonna get one more out of this one. Shape it yourself. <laughs> you can mold it into a... Look at there. Woohoo! All right, call Hallmark. We got our Christmas miracle. <laughs> okay. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our mixture and start filling them up. I'm not gonna hold this the whole time for you. Check. Start down there with Aiken. <laughs> See. <laughs> Y'all can tell I don't do this very much. Voila. Okay, so now we're gonna put them in the oven and we'll keep an eye on them and check, you know, within 15, 20 minutes and see where they're at, but that's what it should look like. All right, this is our first batch. This is what they should look like. They could brown a little bit longer if you wanted, but this child of mine is anxious to eat some. <laughs> so we're fixing to do another batch. Okay. So there it is. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We've had a ton of fun. We have laughed and eat too much mm -hmm. and just reminisced over old times. 
So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that little red subscribe button, please do. And until next time, bye y'all. Bye.